The 2ZZGE engine has adopted an evolved form of the VVTI system. It is called the VVTLI, which stands for Variable Valve Timing and Lift Intelligent. The system contributes significantly to improving output in the high speed range. In addition to the functions offered by the conventional VVTI system, the VVTLI system features an enhanced valve lift function. In the high speed range, the VVTLI system increases the amount of lift of the intake and exhaust valves and the length of time they remain open. Two types of cams, one for low to medium speed and the other for the high speed range, are placed next to each other on the camshaft. In this system, the cams are used interchangeably depending on engine speed. When the engine is operating in the low to medium speed range, a proper amount of air-fuel mixture is drawn into the cylinder with the conventional amount of valve lift. As the engine speed increases, the intake air speed increases, and the resistance created by the valve prevents the cylinder from drawing in a sufficient amount of air-fuel mixture. Therefore, in the high speed range, this system increases the amount of valve lift to minimize the intake resistance. Furthermore, the length of the time the valve remains open is increased in order to ensure the intake of a sufficient amount of air-fuel mixture. Similarly, with the exhaust valve, this system minimizes exhaust resistance to facilitate the discharge of the exhaust. Thanks to these features, the engine is able to generate higher speeds and output. Now let's observe how the amount of valve lift is changed by the VVTLI system. Two types of cams, one for low to medium speed and the other for the high speed range are placed next to each other on the camshaft of the VVTLI system. The high speed cam is made a size larger than the low and medium speed cam in order to create a greater amount of valve lift and to prolong the length of time the valve remains open. At low to medium engine speeds, the movement of the low and medium speed cam is transmitted via the rocker arm needle rollers to push the rocker arm down in order to push the two valves open. Simultaneously, the high speed cam also pushes the rocker arm pad in the rocker arm. However, as the illustration shows, the rocker arm pad moves freely in the rocker arm without transmitting the movement of the high speed cam to the valves. Then, when the water temperature is 60 degrees Celsius or higher, and the engine reaches a speed of 6,000 RPM or higher, hydraulic pressure causes the rocker arm pin in the rocker arm to slide under the rocker arm pad, as you can see. Thus, the movement of the rocker arm pad becomes fixed. As a result, the movement of the rocker arm pad is also transmitted to the rocker arm, enabling the high speed cam to depress the rocker arm even further than the low and medium speed cam. This simultaneously increases the amount of valve lift and the length of time the valves remain open. Now let's take a look at the hydraulic pressure control that affects this change to the high speed cam. The OCV, which stands for oil control valve mounted on the cylinder head, regulates the hydraulic pressure directed inside the rocker arm. 
When the engine is operating at low to medium speeds, the OCV remains off and the hydraulic pressure is directed to the drain side without being sent to the rocker arm. When the water temperature is 60 degrees Celsius or higher and the engine reaches a speed of 6,000 RPM or higher, the OCV is turned on, thus shutting off the hydraulic pressure directed to the drain side. Therefore, the hydraulic pressure travels via the hydraulic passage in the rocker's shaft to the rocker arm, enabling the high-speed cam to operate. 